Good mid-afternoon, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. On this Easter Sunday, I want to wish everyone a happy Easter. I wanted to do a quick update. And if Bitcoin were to break down past my uptrend, I would be shorting the market. I'd be shorting Bitcoin at a whew, probably a 20x. I'm probably going to 20x short Bitcoin if it breaks this. I see a bearish continuation pattern, which should continue to the downside. First target would be 37,175, assuming we break down. And that would be a profit of, and sure you could try to get in early, but I'm not going to buy in until we break this uptrend. I mean the downtrend, that's 6.2% and at 20x leverage, that would be 120% move. So I would have a stop loss. If it breaks the uptrend, I would simply have the stop loss. Well, we'll have to see where I would have to buy in, but we would theoretically want to have a break of here, which we came close, and then you would have a stop loss because you would have to make sure that it's not in this, because you can have a back test here, and that's what's hard about um, shorting the market in any part of this area, because at any point, this could have a fake out to the upside. So I'd rather break this with a little bit of volume, and then I'm shorting Bitcoin to the downside. That looks like a bearish continuation pattern to me. It really does. I can't help what I'm seeing. You can draw it out however you want, but that looks like a continuation pattern. Even if you draw it like that, this is this is coming close to having to break out of here to the downside, it looks like. Just based on market sentiment, it looks like it's drawing an M to the bottom side in, the, in some of these time frames. That's the four hour time frame. That looks like an M is being put in. So, if that's the case, this is going to continue to the downside, and I think it's a pretty nice short opportunity here. Conversely, instead of playing the individual coins, I'm probably just going to start shorting and longing Bitcoin because it's easier. Some of the smaller coins have these volatile little swings, but they all base it on Bitcoin anyhow, so I might as well just short Bitcoin. I did good on Luna. I told you guys I got out. I didn't hit the top either. I got out at like 81.62 or 81.72. I didn't get out at 82.30. But I also am not still sitting in at a loss. I did pretty well. I was up like 18% and decided to cut and run. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at here. I mean, this doesn't look good for Bitcoin. Bitcoin looks like it's playing out in a bearish continuation pattern. And until it doesn't break down, I'm going to call it a bearish continuation pattern because that's what it looks like it's doing here, folks. And like I said, I'm going to short it to the downside when it breaks that. I really am. So 39600 we have the last ditch support at 39,300. That's why you see it break 39,600 to go down to that 39,300. If it's doing that, like right now we're back testing a drop. If we can't get back up in here, like this is starting to get urgent, guys. If we can't get back up in here, let me break it down into a smaller time frame. Back up in here. And when I say in here, I mean get out of here. We got to get out of here. We've got to get back up in here. To bounce up to get out of this area. Right now, every time we try to break out, we fall right back into this area that I said. Unfortunately, if this ends up playing out like a bearish continuation pattern, what's going to happen is, is you're going to get sucked into here. And I talked about this at length when we had made that fall, when I said that we could buy back in. I said the problem is, is if we get stuck in here, we pull back up and then we get in here and then we ride this down and then we're done. It, it bounces down to 37.2 before having any kind of bounce and that's what it looks like is likely the probability of what's going on here that's a bearish continuation pattern i can't change that as much as you guys want to change that xrp i said that the likely move would be 75 cents today and then we can decide looks like hell looks like hell right now because we've fallen down onto here and look to be starting another continuation pattern to the downside but I mean, that's a spectacular call this morning. And it was hard to short it because they had volatile movements today. And that's what they do right before the fall. So if you're going to short it, don't look at it in the one minute. Only when you buy your position. And then if you feel like it's already going down when you buy your best possible position, bring it back out into the time frame you're looking at, like the 30 minute. Because if you look at it in the one minute, you're going to go insane. Just have your stop loss, you know, when you do this. So if XRP breaks back within the channel, well... That gives you an easy target. Whoops, I don't know what the hell that is. But it would give you an easy target back down here, 74. But once it breaks the channel, it's coming down here to 65 cents. 
And the farther down we go, the lower the price gets. So pay attention to that. Zill's at 11.1. It looks to be putting in a head and shoulders as well. It broke that uptrend, and now it's back to the backside, and it couldn't break back above. That's very bearish if we continue down this pattern here, so pay close attention. We must get back above, and the farther it goes, the higher up. It's got to get back above 12.1 and get above that uptrend. Otherwise, we've now created a downtrend, a very noticeable downtrend. Right? That's a noticeable downtrend. That's a descending triangle. Not an ascending, a descending this is a descending triangle. That's a bearish pattern. This is a bearish continuation if it breaks out of this to the downside. This will break down if it can't get above this. I guess you could call that a symmetrical triangle. But it looks like a... Uh, yeah, this one is descend or, uh, symmetrical, I suppose. But it needs to break out of this. But you can see we're getting close to making our move. So XRP Future Millionaire, make sure to hit that like button.